All right, perfect. Well, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope everyone is having a great Thursday, almost the weekend, almost the end of the year. So we're almost there. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing good today. Where is everyone tuning in from? I know I'm from Chicago area, so I'm in Illinois currently. But if you all can drop in the chat where you're at right now, just so I can get an idea of the type of or where everyone is joining us from. So like I said, I'm in Illinois currently. Okay, Charlotte, okay, Texas, go to school in Atlanta. Amazing, Atlanta. I was just there in November for our leadership retreat. So that's amazing. Atlanta, perfect. All right, well, thank you all for, for coming today. Oh, Massachusetts, oh, perfect. okay. Massachusetts, Montana. As you all are dropping where you're located, I'm also winning people in as well at the same time. So everyone that's now joining us, you can have your cameras on. Um, just make sure that you keep yourself muted. Uh, you, we will be able to have a Q&A session um, at the end. It's only a, a short amount of slides. I wanted to make this opportunity uh, available to you all so that you can ask questions that you all wouldn't be able to ask um, as you all are filling out your applications. I know you're like, hmm, I really wish I could ask this question. That is what this is today. So as you all are coming in, just make sure that you're muting yourselves and you can be on camera if you want to. I don't wanna be the only one on camera, but if I am, that's fine as well. And I just wanna know where everyone is tuning in from. Where are you at right now? Or even what university are you attending currently or looking to attend? You can drop that in the chat as well. I know somebody said they're from Houston, but they go to school in Atlanta. And we know a lot of people at Georgia State, Spelman, Howard, well, not Howard, Howard is in Washington, DC. Sorry about that, but Clark Atlanta. <laughs> oh, you're looking to attend Georgia State? Yep, we have a great partnership with Georgia State University. So we're doing a lot of amazing things there. Trinidad and Tobago, but you, oh, amazing. Yes, Georgia State, people love Georgia State. We love Georgia State. <laughs> Ball State, amazing. Yep, Ball State. I see a lot of Ball State uh, students that come. We had a, a lot for our annual meeting. That just happened, which is to promote our annual meeting is happening this year, 20, well, next year it will be in Chicago. So if you're interested in attending that and you get selected as a scholarship recipient, you'll be able to attend the annual meeting and we will sponsor you. So that's something that you'll learn along the way if you are selected to be an applicant. But that's just one of the many benefits of being a scholarship winner of IABA. So I'll go ahead. Um, there's no more people jumping in, but I'll just let them in. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just get started with the presentation. It's very quick, so. Yes, so what is the scholarship program? So our scholarship program provides scholarships to undergraduate and graduate level black students. So that's from freshmen all the way to senior, of course, but then also graduate students to PhD students. We've awarded a lot of scholarships last year and a majority of our scholarships went to uh, PhD students. So we're open to everyone that is looking for financial opportunity. Um, so yes, our scholarship did open November 1st and it closes January 31st. So please, if you have not already, get those applications in. The sooner, the earlier that you get them in, the earlier we'll review them and all of that. So just go ahead and um, get those in. So we have um, awarded 
uh, the amounts typically ranging from $1,500 to $5,000 a year. It is based on your school year. So if you're a freshman, it may be different than a sophomore or a junior, of course, and full-time status. So during the upcoming school year, you're going to be full-time or part-time. Are you just needing a semester? Um, you know, it ranges. So all of those factor in into how much money you will get from IABA. And what are our goals? So our goal for, of course, giving you all money is to, of course, provide scholarships and increase the number of actuarial students continuing in the career. So we know that um, I was a college student once, not too long ago. Um, I graduated in 2021 and I had a graduate assistantship. So uh, I know how important it is to have that financial resource. It's imperative. Um, so yeah, so um, another thing that you get with IABA scholarship is you have an opportunity to obtain an internship or entry level interview opportunity. So you do get the chance to talk to companies and potentially get an internship or entry level position. Um, I've seen a number of our scholarship recipients get that. And so I always try to promote that and show that as a true benefit, you know, to becoming an IABA scholarship recipient. It does increase your likelihood of securing a job or internship, as I mentioned. And as I mentioned earlier as well, you'll have the opportunity to attend the IBA annual meeting where there are employers there, uh, mentors. It's also an opportunity to make long life connections because people always come back to an annual meeting and say, hey, you know, we get together every year around this time and we just go out to eat. And they really do develop these friendships. And it also kind of helps with networking as well. So those are just some great goals that we set here with the scholarship program and some benefits that you all get through these goals that we set. Yeah, so eligibility. Who is eligible to be a scholarship applicant? You know, who can actually apply to the scholarship program? So as you can see on the screen, um, Black students of African descent originating from the US, Canada, the Caribbean, and African nations. So as long as the applicant meets these following requirements, they have to be a citizen or permanent resident of the US or a citizen or permanent resident of Canada, a citizen of any Caribbean or African nation on a US or Canadian student visa excuse me, visa. So you have to be located in North America in order to receive scholarship, if that makes sense. So if you're coming, uh, somebody said that they were interested in going to Georgia State, if you apply with us, you would say interested school, Georgia State. And then if you are selected, we will follow up with you and figure out what school are you going to and you will provide us with that update because you may have wanted to go to Georgia State, but you end up going to Ball State instead. You know, we, we've seen that. So it's all about where you do get accepted and that will help us just be able to send those funds to your school. So we do a follow up with you, of course, um, just in case you didn't go to that school that you originally put on the application. Um, you must be admitted to a college or university in the U.S. or Canada offering either a actuarial science program or courses. So we know that not all of the schools um, located in the U.S. or Canada have an actuarial program. So we know that there are courses, there are minors, anything that shows us that you are dedicated to becoming an actuary. So we just need to see that commitment in order to be eligible for our scholarship. Um, and also you just have to have at least a GPA um, of 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. All right, and then, like I said, this is real quick. So I was just gonna save the end for any questions that you all might have. Um, like I said, today is mostly to answer any questions that you all Kind of like may have like popped up in your head as you're filling out the application. I wanted to provide that opportunity to you all. Um, but also the criteria uh, 
this is what we will judge you on when we're going through your application. Oops. Hi, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. We're gonna be doing questions after. So just, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the chat now and I can answer them later, or um, you can raise your hand on the Zoom call. All right. From Nigeria, nice to meet you. Yeah, so um, the criteria to, that we will judge you all on is calculus and probability courses already completed. Um, your SAT with a minimum math score of 600 or your ACT with a minimum math score of 28. Um, attempting or already passed an actuarial exam. So once again, we just wanna see your commitment towards the actuarial profession. Are you actually wanting to become an actuary and how can we help you do that? Um, yes, and then completing uh, or already completed your VEE requirements, uh, proficient communication skills, evidence of determination and self-motivation, and a demonstration of interest and familiarity with the actuarial profession, as I mentioned previously. So yeah, these are just some of the things that we will judge you all on. And in this next slide, these, this is just what you'll need for your application. So you just will need, of course, your name, your email, school and personal email addresses, school you will be attending in the fall. Once again, if you're wanting to go to Georgia State, but you end up going to Ball State, we will follow up with you all if, with that information or to gather that information from you um, if you are selected. So current school transcripts, resume, personal statement about why you are applying for this scholarship, which is really the biggest component of the application that we look at. Um, you know, how dedicated are you to the profession? What have you gone through um, in your time to become an actuary? Or what has happened to you in college or if you're working currently? Like, we want to hear your story and we want to hear your journey. So that is the biggest piece that I like to highlight that we look at, especially like our application reviewers, they learn a lot about you through your personal statement. And that's why you really need to put time and energy into that piece. Um, so actuarial tests previously taken include that and recommendations is also another huge piece. Um, one is required and more will be welcomed, but you at least need to have one. So make sure that you're talking to any professor, any job that, you know, somebody that can speak to who you are and why you deserve this scholarship. Make sure that you really do get that in. That is super important. One is required, but we welcome more. So make sure that you're picking quality people as well that are really speaking to who you are and your character. You just don't want somebody to say, yeah, they're a hard worker and like that's it. You want somebody that's able to provide examples um, to speak on who you are as a person. Um, so that personal statement is imperative. That rec The recommendations are also very, very important to have. And your resume. Um, we have sessions um, that go over resume review and everything like that. If you're needing to kind of revamp your resume currently, um, that's available on our YouTube channel. And we also have resources available. To, we have people that will be able to review your resume as well. So just let me know if that's something that you're needing and you can reach out to me um, at my email at m as in mary.colvin at blackactuaries.org. Um, please do not waste that piece because that is something that we are making available to you all. So either you can do it on your own and do the boot camp video, or you can reach out to me and I can try to get you connected to somebody that can help you with your resume review. But make sure that you have that resume, that personal statement and recommendations. Those are very, very important. All right, and like I said, this was a very quick presentation. Um, just wanted to provide you all with information first and then we can go ahead and dive 
into the question. So I saw that somebody put a question. Oh, okay. So I'm looking to attend Georgia State University. Would a scholarship be a form of allowance or would it be used offset some of the tuition? So the way that we send your scholarship funds, if you are selected, we send it to your school. So that's why in your application and even after when we follow up with you, we ask for your school address. So we will send a check directly to that school address to your financial aid department, and they would apply that to your student accounts. And then that's how it would get posted, if that answers your question. So yeah, you. We send everything directly to, to the school. Um, there's another question that I see. Um, do you offer scholarships for postdoc? Postdoc as in, is that PhD? Um, if you wanna take yourself off mute and, or if you wanna drop it in the chat specifically what you mean um yes we do postdoctorate yes we do um offer it to postdoctorate as well yeah um yes osiris do you want to take yourself on mute and ask your question or do you want to drop it in the chat either one is fine <laughs> Yeah, I can admit myself. Uh, hi, I'm Osiris Jackson. I go to Morehouse College. Uh, we don't have we don't have an actuarial like degree or anything, so I'm majoring in economics. And I was just gonna start taking some of my uh, SLA exams like next semester. Does that still make me applicable for the scholarship? Yes, it does. So you just don't have to be majoring, or like you said, there's not a major. We know that um, a number of our students that are actuaries and even our professionals, they have a, a degree in either economics, math, uh, statistics, uh, computer science. We've seen a number of degrees come through. So yeah, it, it doesn't matter about that. We just want to know um, how are you dedicating yourself to becoming an actuary? And as you mentioned, you're going to be sitting for exams. So that would be something that we accept. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. In Morehouse, that's amazing. Um, so I'll go back to the chat, and then I know there are a couple of people that are raising their hands. Um, so are previous recipients allowed to reapply? If so, do we need to redo our personal statements? Hmm. So I'll, the first part of your question, um, yes, previous recipients are allowed to apply to reapply. Um, we're always welcoming you all to reapply. So make sure that you do that. You will have to redo your application, of course. Um, I would redo your personal statement because we have uh, the same application reviewers every year. So they may remember your personal statement from the previous year. So I would definitely um, redo your personal statement. Give us an update of what, what you've been up to since you have one um the IBA scholarship how has it helped you and how will it continue to help you I think that could be a a great update for those application reviewers um okay and then I had a couple that raised their hand um did you all want to did either one of you want to take yourself off mute to ask your question hello yes hi we hear you hello mm -hmm. um I'm good now. Um, please, I need clarity on the recommendation, um, especially for incoming freshmen. Um, will it be appropriate to receive a recommendation letter from, let's say, a professional supervisor um, in our various workplaces? Or better still, will it be appropriate to receive a recommendation letter from our undergrad supervisors? Uh, I just need clarity on that. Yeah, um, you you say undergrad supervisors. Is that what you what you said? 
Yes, please. Not necessarily undergrad supervisors, but probably a professor from our undergrad university. Yeah, I we we definitely would accept that. Um, it it it's anybody that can provide a quality recommendation. So I would definitely, if they know you very well, and they can speak to you and your studies and your journey, that would be a, a good resource to use. Um, go to that person and ask for a recommendation. I hope that answered uh, your question. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. Um, I don't think anybody else is raising their hand. So I'll go ahead and answer the question in the chat. So is the scholarship for current college students or incoming freshmen also considered? So yes, incoming freshmen are also considered. Uh, we just need to know what school you're attending, basically. But yeah, we freshmen, sophomore, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, graduate student and PhD. So these are for college students, not for high school students, of course, but incoming freshmen going into college. Yep, this is open for you all as well. Yeah, are there any more questions about the program, about how, anything regarding how it works? Um, like I said, you would get an opportunity to get an internship and also a co-branded scholarship, so a company-branded scholarship um, if a company selects you. So that's um, after we review your applications and we select winners. You then would get uh, your resumes will be sent off to the companies that we are currently connected to. And they will review and reach out to anybody that they feel could be a potential intern or employee. So like, I'm not an actuary. I, I like to mention that lots of people and I wish that I had a lot of these resources myself when I was going through college because to get an internship position, which eventually does turn into an entry level position it's amazing. And you get a number of companies that reach out to you that are interested in you and they're wanting to support your journey, you know, so it's just an amazing way to get connected to scholarships and money, job opportunity, you know, so I, I love to highlight the scholarship program as just an amazing resource. So, um, I'll keep watching the chat as well. I know that we I scheduled I did schedule this for an hour. Um, I also wanted to go through the website. So when you all are going to this website and you look for scholarships, you can find a number of what I number of the things that I just talked about on the slide here. Um, so eligibility, you can apply here. And right now we're on the scholarship frequently asked questions. And so on this, um, it talks about what is the scholarship program? When will you be notified of scholarship decisions? Uh, it's, it goes over a number of things. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll down. Yep, so even how will the scholarship be given to our schools? Paper checks will be sent out. Students will need to give us um, school information. So they have you all have to let us know um, what school you'll be attending and the address. So it's very important that you put the address, financial aid department, student accounts office, what have you. You have to put that on the scholarship application. So, and how long are the checks going to take to arrive? Typically three to four weeks. And we send the checks out in August. Okay. And 
Um, do you offer scholarship letter letters for a student visa? So for students that are going through the visa process and you are accepted um, as a scholarship winner, we do provide a scholarship letter, basically acknowledging that you are a scholarship winner and that IABA will be providing you funds um, for school. So we do offer that as well. That has been something that has popped up a lot in the future, I mean, in the past. Um, so that is something that we do offer for anybody that needs that. Um, there's another question that I got a lot last year, which was, what if I don't need the scholarship money to go towards tuition? Instead, I needed to go towards exams and exam preparation. How should I go about this? Um, so the scholarship winner, the money goes towards your school tuition. So if you would like more information on exam preparation, IABA, possibly covering exam costs, you can reach out to us to gather more information on how we can help you fund your exam settings. So reach out to us if you're having trouble paying for exams and we can talk about that and what resources we have available. Um, but also another way you can go about that if you're needing, if your tuition is fully paid for and you just needed this money for exam prep, um, you will get a refund check and you can just use that refund check to put towards your, um, your exam materials and exam preparation. That's something else that I've heard students do. Um, yeah, can you send the scholarship checks directly? No, we cannot. We cannot send them directly to you. Um, can students request that two checks are sent based on their school? No, um, we only send one check and the school splits it up. So we only send the amount and the school is split it up based on if they're based on quarters, semesters, you name it. Um, and I see a question in the chat. Are there specific universities you offer scholarships to? Um, no, I believe as long as it's in the US or Canada, um, those are the schools that we offer scholarships too. So they have to be US or Canada based. Um, can I get an internship? Like I mentioned before, you can get an internship opportunity based on our corporate partners and what they're looking for. So they may be looking for a freshman intern, they may be looking for a senior intern, you never know. We we've, we've seen it all. So um, what if you don't need an internship? Um, if you were team, if you were, excuse me, if you receive um, an internship request, um, you can just let us know you don't want it. You know, you may be also in an internship right now. You may be pursuing a job entry level position right now. You name it. Um, just let us know that you do not want it. We've had students in the past to kind of just ignore us. And all you have to do is just let us know that you're no longer interested or you're not interested in obtaining an internship. And we'll just let the company know so they can start looking for other candidates. And then this right here is my email, the m.coven at blackactuaries.org for anybody that needs that. And you can find all of this at blackactuaries.org as well. Yeah, if you all have any more questions, I, I hope that the presentation answered um, a number of your questions when you got here on the call. And we are currently, like I said, the application closes January 31st. If I'm going to go ahead and just stop sharing this as well. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for jumping on today's call. Um, we were discussing this in the in the IABA team, in the IABA world. It's just like, you know, maybe we need to hold something like this so that students can ask us the questions that 
they've been wanting to ask us and I'm a direct contact for you all of course so if you all need anything at all oh thank you thank you I really appreciate it uh, like I said and this also was recorded uh, I'll upload this onto our YouTube channel and also send out um, an email with this link as well um, Osiris, did you still have a question or, oh, okay, never mind. Put your hand down. Okay. Um, so yeah, if, thank you. Okay, well, this looks like that this is a good place to stop. Um, if you all have any additional questions, just reach out to me at m.coven at blackactuaries.org. And as I mentioned, I will get this recording out to everyone that was here today. Um, I hope that I answered a lot of your questions and I see a lot of old applicants or past recipients. So please, please get your applications in as well. Get those in. Uh, we will not be looking at old applications again. So reapply, okay? Um, yeah, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Oh, thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'll stop this. And thanks again.